Good morning, everyone. I hope this finds you well. I hope your week's off to a good start. I, I just wanted to share one of my favorite stories in Scripture this morning and, and hope it provides a, a healthy reminder for you. Uh, it's Exodus 33. And Exodus 33 is, is Moses and his interactions with God and the fallout from, uh, from the people of Israel just badly upsetting God with by creating a golden calf that they were they were to worship. And this is in the middle of already the people of Israel being exiled into the wilderness for 40 years to wander because of, the, because of their lack of faithfulness. And so this is, they were already in a valley and then they, they make this golden calf and just dig even deeper. And, and so then Moses is interacting with God and it's just the, the most fascinating passage to me. Uh, so in Exodus 33, verse 1, it says, Then the Lord said to Moses, Leave this place, you and the people you brought up out of Egypt, and go to the land I promised on oath to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, saying, I will give it to your descendants. I will send an angel before you and drive out the Canaanites, Amorites, Hittites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites. Go up to the land flowing with milk and honey, but I will not go with you because you are a stiff-necked people, and I might destroy you on the way. And it's it's... To me, it's like this image of like a kid that's like badgering their parents or pestering them for something that they want that their parents aren't going to give them for whatever reason. And then finally they say like, you know what, fine, you can have this thing, but it's absolutely not fine. And, they, and the, the people of Israel know that. But eventually what Moses comes back to here is, is his response to God in verse 17 and instead of taking that which you know this is a generation Moses included are going to die out without seeing the promised land they're going to go without and this is an opportunity to have all their suffering and to be able to go into the land of milk and honey and not even have to work for it that God's going to send an angel and deliver it all to them and Moses's response is a really telling one in verse 17 or excuse me, in verse 15, Moses says, If your presence does not go with us, do not send us up from here. How will anyone know that you're pleased with me and with your people unless you go with us? What else will distinguish me and your people from all the other people on the face of the earth? And it's this beautiful moment, and God honors Moses in, in his response, uh, that without God, None of this matters. Without, without his presence, our, our choices don't matter. So whatever we value as, as success in this world, whether it be wealth or, or a, a healthy family or, or our own personal success in, in business or in whatever ventures we set out to, to accomplish, if it's not built on faithfulness, it, it doesn't matter. If he's not in that, it doesn't matter. So whatever you're you're dealing with this morning, I just I hope that you are, are reminded of the the foundational importance of faithfulness and and what that unlocks for us and the value of of just his presence in our lives that we don't ever try to walk out of that presence. So, let's pray. God, I just want to thank you for this day, this morning and and the fact that you dwell with us that we have your presence as individuals, unlike the people of Israel at the time. We have direct one-on-one -on -one interaction and presence with you, God. And I just pray that that continues to be the anchoring force in our life, the, the foundational building block that the rest of our life is built on, that, that if it's not in faithfulness, we don't want it. And God, I just pray that whatever is, whatever things are, are chipping away at that foundation, I, I just pray that, uh, that our faithfulness would remain strong and that we would deepen that more and more, that, that it remains the, the single foundational block that the rest of our life is, is built upon. I pray this in your son's heavenly name. Amen. Have a great day.